I'm breaking up with you, Louie. Mm -hmm. Why, you ask? Because you're botched. I mean, cracked. Botched. A botched bag. That's what this is. It's only this one, right? Not all of them. Please don't let it be all of the Ivy wallets on chains. Universe, luxury universe. Louis Vuitton, LVMH. Bernard Arnault, richest man in the world. Hello. Calling Louis Vuitton. What's wrong with your product, Louis Vuitton? Yes, that is correct. We are about to get into it today, my friends. So if you are new here, my name is Kanisha. Welcome to my channel. If you are not new, welcome back, my loves. Welcome back. We are about to get into the botched Ivy Walk saga. What happened? Well, you see what had happened was... <laughs> I was minding my business, taking this beautiful bag, my new release bag, out on date night. It's Valentine's Day. You know, we looking cute. We getting ready. I'm going out. I'm having a nice time. I'm eating my meal. Oh, I mean, it's only been a week. It hasn't even been that long yet. Here I am as a tactile introvert, minding my business, feeling up on my bag opening her for my uses admiring her from the back <laughs> God. when i noticed and so did my rooster he pointed us out to me i noticed something astray my friends i noticed something not quite right with my bag and it's so small i'm gonna have to it's so small i had to take pictures to show you but i'll see if you can spot from the back let me see if you can spot from the back where's the crack <laughs> god you guys i can't even make this up i can't even make it up i can't you guys are gonna like this video you should be liking and subscribing for this video because i cannot make it up my friends what happens to me in real life is what's happening to you anybody who wants to comment and leave a comment below on this story i want to hear it let's leave it for the community because this one is one for the community my friends can you see where the crack is i'll just give you a hint it's going to be at the most distressed points of the bag and it might be hard to see and hard to notice, but you'll notice that one tip is starting to stick out a little bit more pointedly. Do you see that? How it sticks out a little bit more pointedly versus this side, it sort of really curves into the bag still, okay? Those are the distress points on the new Ivy Walk. I encourage everyone who buys this bag or wants this bag to take a look at their bags and make sure that they check for any distress signs because when you do you might find something not too appealing or happy for you at least i didn't i know that's for sure but can you see i wonder if you can see up close what it focuses is when it focuses in where the crack is and i'll i'll insert some pictures i don't know if you'll be able to see the crack on both sides and one is forming more than the other is a little fissure there's a little fissure in the canvas forming and this isn't the kind of bag that you know you need to open up the flap all the way to get in when you open it up it's not looking distressed on the back or anything like that so naturally i didn't think i had a problem with my new bag but when i tell you i started to notice a fine point on one side of the bag and it's to the point where the plastic the canvas is sticking out so i can feel it yeah let's see if you can see the crack forming this one is just beginning on this side versus the other side 
is more prominent. Obviously, I sent those pictures to my client advisor and she was appropriately appalled, thank goodness. And we made an appointment. I'll be going into the store to break up with my new bag on Valentine's Day. This is a breakup. And we'll see what happens from there. <laughs> Isn't this funny? The reason why I wanted to do this video is because I'm the kind of person who's like, what will be will be and I'm just gonna live my life, right? Don't be upset by the little things in life that happen. I feel like this is a very small detail. This is a very small thing when it comes to luxury. The reason why I like Louis Vuitton is they have a very generous return and repair policy, at least in my personal experience. I've been hearing stories that they've been requiring repairs of Vachetta to be hundreds of dollars and things like that. I typically am not needing a Vachetta repair. I think this is typically if you're buying bags from the resale market, but personally, I've been buying bags from the store recently. When it comes to their new bags, their repair service and their return policy is very generous. In my opinion, they extended it from 14 days to 30 days to do an exchange or to do a return as long as you have the receipt. And then even within the first year after 30 days, you can get a repair for free. Or you can get a new bag for free if there's something obscenely wrong with your bag. So in this instance, I'll be able to get my money back. So that's what's going on with the Ivy Block. I'm gonna be heading into the store to see what we see, see what we do, see whatever. If I walk away with nothing, it's because it is what it is. And I was on my low buy for this year anyway. That's how I'm looking at things when it comes to my finances is look, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. That's more money in my bank. Mr. Arnaud, he's rich enough. So at the end of the day, if you end up saving money because something doesn't work out, that's a good sign. If you end up wanting to put the money towards something else because you already had the money sitting and waiting, good for you, go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't really see anything that I want in the store, you guys. I wish I could tell you I really wish I could tell you there's there's a lot popping in, in Louis Vuitton right now, but there really isn't, at least in my opinion. Real fast, I wanted to say about the on-the-go PM because someone asked me. The on-the-go PM, I had seen it, the one with the new guitar strap. What I'm going to say is I'm not really a fan of reverse monogram, nor am I a fan of guitar straps, nor am I a fan of tote bags that don't have zip closing. So the on-the-go for me is out of the question. Even though I think it's a beautiful bag, I know LB Lux Delight, Megan, she just went and scored that bag. Go girl, good for you, it's cute. That bag is just not for me, it's not gonna work out for me. The reason why I know it's not gonna work is because I have the guitar strap for the utility phone sleeve and I never use it. It's also a light color, just like the On The Go PM. Guitar strap and even the essays, Murphy G, even she remarks that those light color guitar straps they get dirty the fastest. So I'm just putting it out there. I think it's a pretty bag, especially if you're into reverse monogram. I just think you need a different strap for that bag. There are just some features on it that just don't work for me in my personal life. So it's off the table for me. Amina El Rahani, I love you girl. You keep asking me about this side trunk bag. Why don't I score the side trunk bag? I keep having issues with my walk and for all this money, why not spring for a couple more grand for the side trunk, honey? like this little simple bag I really do that's what I want to say about the Ivy walk is I can understand why people like the pochette accessoire is because this bag is popping it's very convenient it's very under the radar it's just simple and I really like it and I also appreciate the extra features that Louis Vuitton is giving us on these bags with the detachable straps and the extra options when it comes to having multiple straps and it's nice and simple and clean inside. I like a clean bag. I like an easy reach, finding my things in my bag. I don't have time to be searching all around. I really like this bag. I like the fact that it's functional for a small bag. And I feel like with the side trunk bag, it's a lot of bling. It's really popping. I think it's what's up. I think it's really cute. I wish it had a pocket inside. I think I'm not sure I like the hanging zipper that hangs all inside. I'm not sure I want the side trunk bag, even though I like it. A little bit of a contrarian. Like I wanna do, I want what I want. And I really like, I don't, I mean, if other people really like this bag, then they like it. But I noticed not a lot of people really want for this bag. But I really like this bag. I just hope it's not a defect with this bag that all the flaps are gonna have this issue. That's my my one concern. 
that I'm saying watch out to all of you is I don't I just hope that if you like this bag and you go for this bag that this is not a defect that shows up on all of our bags so I'm hoping to go back in and maybe secure another one of the Ivy walks and see what happens if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be and I'm gonna just let it go and we all should because these things don't matter but well, that's where I'm gonna leave it with the Ivy walk and and my feeling on this new release is um yeah, you know, when it comes to all this money, when we talk about prices going up, I mean, Louis Vuitton, all of them are going to have to do better. In my opinion, in all of our opinions, they're going to have to do better. I, I really don't know what to say because I really am a fan of Louis Vuitton, but I'm a fan more of us building our generational wealth because I'm a financial professional. So if it's not working out on the luxury side of it, just let it balance out on the financial <laughs> side of your future. Um, and I'm gonna leave it there. If you are with me until the end, thank you so much for watching, subscribing. I hope you really like this video. If you liked it, then share it and like it. And um, follow me here on YouTube. Follow me over on Instagram at KBOTLV and I will catch you in the next one.